Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nick Foy and today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a Facebook business page. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type in the URL www.facebook.com slash pages and it's going to take you to this page which I will go to first to show you what it looks like. And then you're going to go here to create page. When you hit create page, it's going to give you these six different options. And you're going to want the one that says company, organization, or institution. Now, when you click it, it's going to want you to select a category for your business page. So in my case, if we are bloggers, we're probably going to want education. And company name, go ahead and fill in your company name. So in my case, I could do Ask Nick Foy Show. So my company name, the Ask Nick Foy Show. And you can get tips in Messenger, but I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this as I do not want to receive a bunch of spammy notifications. So then click Get Started, and it's going to have you start updating all the different parts of your page. So as you can see here, you've got a cover photo that it needs and a profile picture. So you just click here to add a picture and you can upload a photo or take a photo and then same with the cover photo. Now the cover photo is the one I want to focus on for a minute because you have to get the pixel width and length for uh, this photo. So if you come into Canva, just go to canva.com and you're going to see all these different types of designs. So when you get into your dashboard, you can click on the more tab and it's going to drop down templates and they've actually got a Facebook cover template for you. If you come down here to social media headers, you'll see the one that says Facebook cover. Now, if you look down below where it says Facebook cover, it says 828 pixels by 315 pixels. Now, this is the recommended size for a cover photo on the desktop, but when you go onto mobile, it's not going to work correctly. So, here's an article I found that does a good job explaining. So, if you see louisem.com, if you go to her website and it to this article about the Facebook cover photo. Basically, she recommends uh, a picture that is 828 by 465 pixels tall instead of the 315 pixels that Facebook recommends. So when you go back into Canva, instead of selecting this Facebook cover template, you can go up here to use custom dimensions and you can type in 828 pixels wide, by 465 pixels tall, click design and it's going to pull up a blank template where you can start designing your Facebook cover. When you get done, just give it a title right here and go ahead and make sure it says all say all changes saved right here before clicking the download button. And when you go to click the download button, you're going to want to pick a PNG image. It's going to give you a file type and it'll say PNG and you'll click download. That stands for portable network graphic and that's the type of graphic you want to use for your Facebook cover. So going back into here, you just click add a cover photo, upload photo and you find the photo that you downloaded from Canva and now you've got a cover photo. So next, this is, you know, the first two steps are basically what people see when they come to your profile. If people were to do a little more digging, you're, they're going to go to your about page. So you want to come to the about page and fill in some different uh, information. So when did your business start? You could put in your, your start date that you founded your blog or your website. You can enter a mission statement. You can put in the telephone number, email address, website address so that people know how to reach you and the contact info. And then the info about yourself you can add to the about section as well as any products, awards uh, that you have as well. So that's basically the about section just filling in all the general profile data. And if you want to share a story you can click edit story and write in a story about your business that people can read. 
you get to customize a button here as well. So if you want people to click this button to go to your website, you can set up the button. So you can add your website link here where it says what website would you like to send people to when they click this button, type in your URL there and go ahead and click add button and now you've got a button set up. Now you can choose different types. So book services, get in touch, learn more, download, make a purchase or there's other. So in this case, you probably want to put learn more. If you want them to learn more about your brand, they can click that to go to your website. All right, so that's the basics for setting up your Facebook business page. We added a profile picture, a cover photo. We customized the button here. We edited the about page and uh, that's pretty much the general information people are going to see when they come to your page. You can also try to get people to leave reviews about your business. So in the review tab, they can fill out a rating uh, and as well as a description, they can write in a, f uh, a few sentences with their review. And anytime you post videos, photos, or your posts, they're going to fall under here if you want to go see your old photos, videos, or posts. And then as you get likes on your page, you're going to be able to click here and see how many likes you have. So that kind of covers everything here in the sidebar. Now, a few things to note about your Facebook page. Right now, it's going to have an ugly URL extension. Now, once you get 25 likes on your Facebook page, you're going to be able to choose a custom URL. So if you want to put your company name as the URL extension, you're going to need to get 25 likes. So what I would recommend doing is inviting friends to like your page. This is going to help speed up your growth and get you to that 25 like milestone. And it gets you some initial likes so that it helps spur momentum because when other people stop by your page, they don't want to see that your page only has one or two likes. You know, the more likes, the better. They're going to think you're more popular the more likes you have and that's you're, they're going to think you're more credible and maybe you're, you're more serious, more famous, whatever the case. And that's going to cause them to want to like your page as well. But I don't recommend buying fake likes because in the end, it's just going to come back to hurt your, your page um, because basically Facebook has different algorithms. And when you have a ton of Facebook likes, but not many people are actually interacting on your pages, that throws off the ratio. Facebook's algorithms, they look at how many people are interacting and engaging on your page relative to how many page likes you have. And obviously the higher the ratio, the better. And that kind of helps with your reach, how far your posts are gonna reach your audience. Another thing to note about reach, Facebook is making it very hard nowadays for content to reach audiences organically. They're trying to make you pay for Facebook ads for your content to reach your audience. So there's a few times where I've posted on my Facebook business page and I've got, let's say, two to 300 likes on my page. So I've got two to 300 people following my Facebook page. Now, after posting a, a post or an article, I notice it says only 10 or 11 people saw my post organically out of 300 people that like my page. So that's what Facebook's doing. They're making it extremely difficult for your post to reach your organic traffic. So that's another reason why I don't recommend spending a bunch of money on Facebook ads trying to get page likes because even with those page likes and those people following your page, they're still not going to see your post without boosting your post through a boost Facebook ad. So it's a sad, sad day now for business owners trying to use Facebook pages. It's really gotten less and less effective because Facebook keeps trying to make you purchase more and more Facebook ads so that they can keep increasing their company revenue and keep increasing their stock price. Uh, so we're only going to see over time, you know, advertising costs go up even further and organic reach going down even more. So we've covered most of the basics today. Uh, in one of our next videos, we're going to be touching on how to set up a public figure page like Gary Vaynerchuk or Jake Paul, who's become a recent social media sensation on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a public figure page in the next video uh, for my brand because I've just started vlogging on YouTube and I would like to set up a public figure page that I can put those vlogs on. So be sure to check the link nearby this video or in the description that's going to take you to that next video showing you about a public figure page if you want to create a personal brand. 
Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care.